Hi everyone, welcome to a new video on my channel. My name is Tessa and yes, I know I'm outside. You can hear some different sounds, you can hear cars, you can hear birds. But I thought people are still sleeping inside the house so I had to go outside. And I thought I want to do a makeup look today because I have to go film something very excited. I will upload it later but I cannot really tell you right now. But it's gonna be cool, it's gonna be great and I'm very excited about it. And yeah, let's start with the look. So for this look, I'm going to try to make some fun, experimental summer look. I have some different colors over here and I think it's going to be pretty nice. Before I start with the makeup, I use the Maybelline Mustard Prime Anti-Redness Primer because as you can see, my head is pretty red because I burnt myself again because of the sun. I'm happy that it's quite warmer right now, but it's too warm for me and for my skin, so I really have to use more sun there. I stopped with using foundation. I thought my skin was horrible because of it and I wanted to try something different. I haven't found a great foundation yet, but I did find a BB cream what's working very well. I used the Garnier Skin Active BB cream and this one is light. I just really like to use the Beauty Blender to blend it in a little bit more. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now. By the way, there's a trash can car who is emptying our trash cans and it smells badly. I'm heading over to the eyebrows, but it's not that interesting. I'm still using the Catrice Cosmetic Eyebrow Set Brow Powders, but as I said, it's not interesting, so you won't see it. And there they are. I know it's a little bit dark, but I really like to have them dark. I don't know why. And let's go over to the eyeshadow. The eyeshadows I use today are all from Kiko. They're all high pigment eyeshadows. And I start off with the base and that will be the white eyeshadow. And bring it all up to my eyebrow bone. So it's going to be a summer look and I'm going to try to use some different colors and I will start off with the yellow. This one is number 19 of the high pigment set and I'm just going to put it on to my crease. Then I will take the same brush and I will use the pink shadow. This one is number 52. Just layer on layer on layer and blend it well with the yellow part. Then I'm taking the orange color. This one is 36. I'm using the smudge brush and I'm going to make a little moon in the outer corner of my eye. And then blend it out with the Doom shadow brush again. So obviously the yellow part is a little bit fainted right now. So I will use the same yellow beneath my waterline to make it pop. And then I use the white eyeshadow to put a little bit into the inner corner of my eyes and a little bit onto the moving eyelid. For the people who do not know me yet, I never use false eyelashes just because I'm not able to put it on. So I'm taking my New York Color Big Bold Mascara and I'm putting it on. Damn it, it won't open. Finally. So I only use mascara onto the upper lashes because I have my yellow under my waterline and I don't want to have it smudged with the dark mascara spots I will have because that's always my case. So that's it, and now I'm going over to my face. I will use the Hema Contouring Face Powder, it's a Dutch brand, uh, with my Real Techniques a bronzer brush to put on as a bronzer. And for the highlighter, I used the Unicorn Heart a Rainbow Highlighter made by Unicorns. And this one is from I Heart Makeup. Oh my god, <laughs> damn. And of course, I put it on with a contour brush. But hey, that's how I work. 
I am so happy that I finally have this highlighter again. I had it once before, but I lost it and I didn't find it again. So now I went into a shop and I saw this highlighter and I was like, yes, I finally can use it again. A little bit on the bridge of the nose and on the tip of the nose. I know I'm outside, but I get so frustrated by the fact that I have to change my lightning all over again every single time. This is also a very beautiful spot to use your highlighter, by the way. So for the last part of this look, I have to put on something on my lips and I use the Catrice Long Lasting Lip Liner 080 What Would Rose Would Do. It's a very natural color because I didn't want to bring too much attention to my lips because I already did it with my eyes. So that's what I'm putting on right now. Oh my god, I'm already crying because my eyes are not able to get used to something beneath my waterline. And stupid car, get out of the way. Woo, bitch, get out the way. Get out the way. Get out the way, set move. So thank you so much for watching. This is the final look. I really like it. I hope you really do as well. If you do, please give it a big thumbs up. And I will see you in the next video because I went to Scotland and I made a travel video as well. So that's very nice. I am currently editing, editing it. I also have something very exciting where I'm going to tell you right now about because I think I'm able to. I have been asked to make videos, make vlogs onto a Miss Beauty challenge thing and I'm gonna be the vlogger. So I really hope you will look at those videos when I post it online. I'm going to do something uh, this day. That's also why I did it and yeah.